Hello, in this video I would like to show you one of my older programs which I call Disk Toy. This is a physics toy which simulates disks on a two dimensional plane. You can insert disks at any point, you can move them around, push them and they will collide with each other. And the walls. They have ideally elastic collisions and they slow down by friction. You can play around with this, but there is a better feature, which is charges. You can insert charge disks too, and as you all know, opposite charges attract each other and uh, same charges repel each other. So you can use that and build some things or just push them around. For example, you can create springs like these by chaining alternating charges. You can move a string around or loop it back. Then you have a ring or maybe not. Uh, you can move it around then or shoot a neutral particle at it, whatever you want. Another fun thing to build are blocks or rectangles when you add just a bunch of alternating charges. Often you get blocks like these in a rectangular grid in a rectangular grid. And then for example what you can do since these are elastic collisions, when I shoot a neutral a neutral particle in from this side and try to hit this row, the momentum will transfer through this complete row and hopefully it will shoot out this last particle. So let's try that. You can see this one stopped when it collided and you can uh, you have seen this one flying to the left. Again it works pretty nicely. This program has yet another feature which lets you fix particles like this. They can be they cannot be moved by other particles now but you can still move them around with your mouse and they will stay there. Um, you can build walls like this maybe, but you can try um, fixing charges like this. You can press space to pause the simulation, so you can arrange them however you want. Fix them. And now you have a circle of negative charges. Now when you put a negative charge into the middle, it will be trapped there and you can even put multiple ones in there. Sometimes they will escape though, because they are pushing each other away. Yeah, you can play around with this a lot. The physics engine behind this is relatively flexible, but unfortunately most of the parameters are hard-coded. So now I will show you a version without any friction but to do that I had to recompile the program because the friction is hard-coded unfortunately. Here you can see if I move a disk it will not slow down. It will keep going with the same velocity as I started it with. And you can do the usual stuff, collide them with each other, see how they react. And of course charges work the same. They will never stop moving. and the energy in the system is constant. The method I use is called valet integration and it's a pretty good method for calculating the speeds and velocities of the next simulation step and a pretty nice property of it is that it conserves the energies. So I can have a system as messy as I want in some limits and the whole system will never slow down or speed up too much. Actually it's not noticeable at all the simulation is very stable. But without friction, it's pretty beautiful to look at some simple systems, like I usually insert a neutral disk and two charges, and when you change the system a little bit, they will start moving around with kind of random patterns. Of course, it's all deterministic, governed by the forces I programmed, but you can see the movements are changing and energies are transferred. For example, sometimes 
the system has lots of potential energy when they are bouncing together they will move farther apart and gain potential energy but sometimes via collisions they will start moving in a direction with a high speed then they have a lot of kinetic energy and it's fun to watch them circle each other and bump into each other sometimes they speed up the negative particle uh, I mean the nuclear particle sometimes they get faster and it's nice to look at another fun thing to do without friction is fixing one of the charges as I showed earlier and shooting another charge around it like a planet in orbit and you can see it circling around prettily you can move it at a different speed Oops. Maybe try to get a circular orbit. Actually, it's pretty hard to get uh, sp exact speeds you want with your mouse. Sometimes it works by luck. Sometimes you just bash one of the charges against the other one and it's not what you had hoped for. Or it collides against the wall. Let's try shooting it from closer to the negative charge. Uh, I have to push it faster than, uh, not too fast. As I said, it's tricky to get it right. Yeah, this is okay. Of course, if you put multiple charges into the system, it gets complicated. Especially without friction, it gets quite chaotic. But fun to watch even with simple systems like these. Will this negative charge get to the positive charge? Ooh, yes, it made it. I will include a download link in the video description, so you can download the source code, read it, and play around with the program if you want. It's written in C++ and uses the SDL and SDL image libraries. And even though I have only tested it under Linux, it should work anywhere. They are portable libraries. It should be portable C++ code. So you should get it running if you want. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I thank you for watching.